Welcome back, I'm Ray Ortega. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Call Recorder for the Mac. If you're on a Windows machine, stay tuned. At the end, I'll have some links so you can accomplish the same thing on a Windows machine. We're gonna set up Call Recorder, which is the easiest way to record Skype on a Mac. Super simple and highly functional. Lots of features. We can do audio only, we can do video, and the best part is we can split out both of those into independent tracks so that you have total control over them in post-production. But today I'm gonna to set up audio only, typically for a podcast interview, and then you can bring those into your audio editor, edit each track independently, and produce the best episode possible. So let's jump onto the computer and check it out. All right, I went over to ecamm.com and I downloaded Call Recorder and installed it on my Mac. And you can see when we open Skype here, the little Call Recorder window pops open at the same time. So we click the settings and this is what it looks like. This is your regular Skype settings. And then this little call recorder tab, you can see recording is on the end on the far right side. And those are gonna be your call recorder settings. So when you hit the little settings icon on the call recorder interface, it'll pull this up. So we wanna start off with our audio encoding and we're gonna make that uncompressed. We want the best quality. We're not recording video. If I was, I would put it on high, but we're doing audio only. So we'll come down here to the recording options and we'll select audio only. And then you can choose to have the recording controls pop up at launch, which is what you saw when we first opened Skype. And if you wanna keep the controls on top of everything while you're recording, you can select that. And you can even record calls automatically, which I don't do, but if you think you might forget to press record, that could work. And you can tell it to not record calls that are less than 30 seconds or 60 seconds, whatever you wanna set that to, if you're going with the automatic setting. And then you can choose the folder where you want to put the recordings. Movies folder is fine for me. It's gonna actually record it and you're going to get a .mov file, which is what will break apart. And that's why it's going to the movies folder. So next we wanna to go to the regular audio settings for Skype. And you'll see that we have microphone, and we will select the microphone that we're using. In this case, I'm going through an audio interface, the Scarlett 2i4, so I select that. You wanna make sure this automatically adjusts microphone settings, turn that off, because you don't want any automatic processing of your audio. You set the levels and you want them to stay where you set them. Now, when I talk into the microphone for Skype on these audio meters right here, I wanna see my voice hit right about 70 to 75% of full. That's going to be a great setup for your audio settings in Skype using this audio meter. Now for your guest, you wanna make sure you set the speakers to your headphones. Of course, you wanna be wearing headphones so that the audio doesn't bleed back into your microphone from external speakers. And to control their level, you use this volume slider right here. Not extremely obvious, but this is what controls the guest audio level. So to get those audio levels, Call Recorder has its own audio meter, and we'll go over to Skype and we'll use the Skype test call to run a test of Call Recorder. All right, we press record on Call Recorder once we dial our Skype test call, and you can see we have the volume from the guest, the output coming in, and that's about halfway to 70% of the meter, which is where I wanna be on here as well. And then we have mine as well on the input side, and also we wanna to try to match those and that's about 70%. So just get in the ballpark, somewhere close to matching. And again, here you can control the levels. You can see me putting the level up too high and the audio actually peaks, hitting red. We don't want that. We can bring the audio down too low and it's only about 20% and that's not high enough. So again, aim for that halfway to 70% mark and you should be good with your levels. So we're done with the test. We'll go ahead and hit the little magnifying glass and that brings up this cool piece of software that comes with Call Recorder, and this is called their Movie Tools, because again, this does video as well as audio. But we did audio only, so it pulls it up here and we see the audio waveforms. You have my audio on the top and you have the guest on the bottom, and you can see over on the right there where I peaked the audio. Again, you don't wanna see that kind of waveform. So the rest of it's really good, and you can see that the audio is separated. You have me on the top or left track and the guest on the bottom or the right track. And we're gonna use this tool to actually export our separated audio tracks. 
And if you want to see where these files actually live, you can right click the audio file and then just press show in finder. And there is your audio file that has not been split yet. So we'll want to export in wave an uncompressed format. And you want to go ahead and make sure that you select export splits tracks so that it actually breaks it into two separated tracks. And I'll go ahead and just name this Skype call separate channels, save it to where you want export wave files, best quality. I don't think this has bearing on this because we're doing it as a wave, but select best quality just in case, and then go ahead and hit export in the software. And you'll have your two separate channels of audio that you can work with in post production. There's our track one, which is going to be me, my channel, and track two, which is going to be the guest channel. And that's it. You've set up call recorder to record Skype podcast interviews. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. Super simple. You recorded Skype, split the tracks, and now it's ready for post production. You can put it into a podcast, put it in your feed, move on to the next episode. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will see you next time.